हरे कृष्णा मा ओम विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण भ्रष्टाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नीति नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश धारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादी गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Hare Krishna, yesterday we discussed uh, how right now the incarnation of Lord Krishna is on this earth and is engaging so many living entities uh, in his pastime of giving out mercy to these living entities. And Yesterday, I came across another quote, you know, apart from the, what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, stated, that Kali Kale Nama Rupe Krishna Avatara, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also stated, you know, a few things when he was uh, preaching to the, uh, the uh, impersonalist, in Benares. One may Prabhupada talks about this in February 6, 1967, San Francisco, in a lecture. I just read that, it's very interesting. Uh, now, one may question oh, Vedanta Sutra, understanding Vedanta Sutra, one is liberated from material entanglement. So, you are asking me simply to chant Hare Krishna. Will that purpose be served? Oh, his guru said, yes, it will be served. He said, Krishna mantra haite have samsara mochana. If you go on, continue he, this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. There will be a day when you come to the perfectional stage. Then you will be liberated. The same result as one gets out of studying Vedanta philosophy or Sankhya philosophy. Same result also you will get by simply chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Nama Haite Pabhe Krishnera Charana. Not only that, Vedantists sometimes they cannot reach up to the Krishna planet. But your advantage will be that you will not only be liberated, but you will be achieving the highest planet, planetary kingdom or the kingdom of God, you will be able to achieve there. And Nam Vinu, Nam Vinu Kali Kale Nai Ara Dharma. Now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained that this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna is the only universal religious principle in this age. No other religion process will be effective because people are so many and diverted in different ways. This is the common formula and that is the effective formula. <clears throat> so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Nama Vinu Kalikale, without chanting this Hare Krishna, there is no other alternative for self-realization in this age. Nam Vinu Kalikale Nahi Ara Dharma Sarva Mantra Sara Nama Yehi Shastra Marma. Now, the essence of all scriptures is this Hare Krishna. Essence. Sarva Shastra Marma means essence of all shastra scriptures. And Sarva Mantra Sara, and there are different kinds of hymns and mantras. And this is the, I mean to say, topmost part of all mantras. In this way, my Guru Maharaj asked me to chant Hare Krishna. These were statements made by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu before the impersonal scholars. So, we... <coughs> We will come to the uh, module 2. Basically, we know that Srila Prabhupada distributed the Harinam all over the world in the form of, you know, individual chanting of Hare Krishna as well as mass chanting of Hare Krishna. Because as it is, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has, has assured, it will cleanse our heart. And what is the meaning of cleansing our heart? 
cleansing our heart means what is in the heart there should be some dirt in the heart to cleanse and what is that dirt that dirt is basically it is ignorance of the self and ignorance of our relationship with the supreme self god so cleansing the heart means cleansing the covering that is covering this relationship covering who we are and making us feel we are this material body so this is the ignorance so the how can ignorance be removed ignorance can be removed only by knowledge but where will the knowledge come from yes the hare krishna mahamantra is an ocean of pure knowledge god is all knowledge and the holy name is none different from krishna himself krishna is all knowledge and whatever appropriate knowledge step by step knowledge that is required for us to rise out of this ignorance of who we are the hare krishna mahamantra reciprocates with the devotee who serves him every day as per the instructions of the spiritual master and then ultimately by lord chaitanya's costless mercy we can experience what is krishna consciousness and what is our relationship with krishna and enjoy love of god and now the different kinds of uh, material existence material knowledge there's so much of knowledge the library is full of knowledge internet is full of knowledge but they are all ignorance because that is not knowledge knowledge is about the self knowledge is about god knowledge is about god's activities devotees activities knowledge is about the spiritual world details of the spiritual world in the material world everybody <coughs> is seeking actually existence in the spiritual world they need the, they are seeking for a quality of existence in the spiritual world they want love that is there in the spiritual world but it is perverted here they can't get that love what the soul is expecting we cannot get love intimacy play so many sense pleasures they're all there in this body they give these things the body and the senses provide us something but it never satisfies us this bodily existence in this material world is a big trap so the holy name as i described yesterday as chaitanya mahaprabhu says and shri prabhupada repeatedly says the holy name the hare krishna naam prabhu is an ocean of sachidananda is a surya of sachidananda so when we say that the lord descends on my tongue the lord never descends alone he descends with all his shakti just like the sun is coming down it will come down with the sunshine you cannot separate sunshine from the sun the same way the ocean of sachidananda cannot be separated from the lord himself so kalikale naam rupe krishna avatara means along with his, all his shakti he comes and his shakti can all be under three categories sat shakti chit shakti and ananda shakti so this Uh, potency it is always good to compare the sun and sunlight how sun is emanating light and heat in the same way the nama that is on our tongue is reservoir of sat chitta nananda but we cannot see why you cannot see you cannot see because you don't sat means eternal our own soul we cannot see so how can we see the nama chit is pure knowledge pure knowledge needs pure pure intelligence to recognize pure knowledge so you cannot sense pure knowledge ananda you need pure senses and pure mind to experience love and pleasure spiritual pleasure of the presence of the lord so we need to understand that this will bring our faith that when we say the lord has descended on our tongue he is really there but he we cannot 
see him, we cannot experience him. This is called faith. We have to have faith in his existence on my tongue. We have to have faith in his merciful descendants on my tongue. You have to have faith in the holy names promise or holy names leela of cleansing our ignorance in our heart and enlightening us in Krishna consciousness. Prabhupada's one example gives uh, a, 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 a very good understanding of how the Nama works. We should always remember these analogies. Prabhupada gives the example of how when a piece of iron, when it is dropped in the fire, what happens? The, the, the fire passes on its heat. That means the fire is a, you can say, it's like an ocean of fire, light and heat. And this is the, the piece of iron inside because of the association. Why? Because of the association, because it is touching the Nama. The Nama is touching the Satchidananda fire. The same way the, as the iron is touching the, is inside the fire of Hare Krishna. Inside the fire of, inside the uh, iron is inside the fire. Slowly there is a transfer of heat from the fire to the piece of iron. And Prabhupada explains, the piece of iron becomes warmer and warmer and warmer and finally becomes red hot. It acts like fire. It has all the qualities of fire. So exactly in the same way, the living entity separated from Krishna is like a piece of iron. It does not have the quality of fire. The living entity separated from Krishna, without Krishna's association, is like this Satchidananda less soul. It is lacking experience of Sat, it is lacking experience of Chit, it is lacking experience of Ananda. Instead, Maya gives Asat, Achit, Nirananda. So the unalloyed Satchidananda stuff that is potentially available in the spiritual dimension is right on our tongue. But then where from the tongue the Cheto Darpanam happens where? Cheto Darpanam happens in our heart. So therefore, the holy name, which is the ocean of Satchit Ananda, mercifully enters our heart. How does it enter the heart? What is the root? The root is through the ears, through the mind, because through the ear means what? By hearing. By hearing, you can you hear with, if your mind is not on the ears on what you are hearing. So hearing requires our mind applied on hearing, on the sound. So then through the mind the Shabda goes to our heart and there our heart means Chittam, it is our consciousness, our accumulated consciousness. We have accumulated consciousness right from our childhood, from our previous life, everywhere accumulated consciousness. What is accumulated consciousness? All our experiential memory of being enjoyer, sense gratification, our values, wrong values, all these things are there in our, what you are, your entire personality is chittam. It is there in your heart, the entire personality. So that personality gets cleansed. That personality's desire gets, the personal aspects of desire, attitude, pleasure attitude, 
of independent enjoyment, independent existence, all these things are cleansed by the Satchit Ananda energy that goes into the heart. So therefore you see, it is so important that whenever we are taking association of the holy name, we have to see that for it to be effective, if it has to go into the heart, then you need uh, uh, to be connected to the holy name. So I was saying that the Lord is on our tongue and accompanied by you know all his energies. So but uh, if he is on the tongue alone, we need the cleansing of our heart, which means the Nama has to go inside. If Nama has to go inside, then as I said, the mind has to be on the sound vibration. If the mind is on the sound vibration, automatically the sound would go into the heart. So this whole, you know, Japa module is basically trying to train, trying to, you see, the, the mind is the, is a controller of attention. Attention belongs to the soul. Attention energy does not belong to the mind, it belongs to the soul. But the mind takes the decision where to carry the attention. It, where to carry the attention? The mind decides. So we can say the mind is a wheeler of attention. But the mind, if it is not trained, it will take the attention wherever it wants. So therefore, what is very essential to achieve our objective of associating with the sound incarnation of the Lord is to be connected to the sound incarnation. Our heart should be connected through attention. Now there are very different ways in which the mind can be trained to ensure that the attention is attention connection. I call it as attention connection with the Nama Avatara is maintained. We should all know this simple principle that how this works. That is why, you know, without attention connection, you should always feel that if my attention is somewhere else, I am not connecting myself to the holy name who is appeared before me. And also if you are not attentive to chanting, that also is, again, you are not giving proper respect to the Lord who has descended on your tongue. Chanting should be done in a welcoming mood and in a mood of gratitude. Thank you, my Lord, for descending on my tongue. And then hearing also should be in a mood of, of anticipating, waiting for association of the Nama. That means waiting for hearing, anxious to hear. So the Japa modules that I have planned is a systematic way of how to tame the mind so that the mind supports our mission, our mission to associate with the Lord wholeheartedly. So that is actually the, the module after module. Systematically, I want to develop item-wise, there are many, many faculties of the mind. Each of them should be dovetailed in service of the holy name. And another point that we all have to understand, <clears throat> Nama Prabhu, the incarnation of the Lord, when the Lord comes, he has his own wish, he has his own desires, he has his own plans. So we should simply associate with him. And we should not Try to use him for our material benefits. We should not chant and hear for the purpose of anything other than self-purification and eventually attaining his lotus feet. There is nothing greater than achieving Krishna. 
So why we should chant Hare Krishna for anything else? So this kind of relationship should be maintained with the Nama Avatara. Soulful Japa is about giving everything about your soul. All the potencies about your soul in serving the Nama. Just like if you are, if you are, if you are, um, uh, if you have a very, if you are absorbed in doing something, you give your heart and soul, they say. Oh, he worked with heart and soul. That means he had the whole desire was there, determination was there, and um, love was there, preeti was there, everything is there. Then we say that the person's heart is fully uh, on, the, on the job. So similarly, japa is a repetition of the nama of the Lord. It is also like a work, which we'll discuss later, the different perceptions of japa. So with this few, in the first, uh, if you have any questions on this, I can answer, including you can ask any questions, type in any questions on the uh, module one, which I spoke yesterday. Why it doesn't appeal to logical mind? I am giving all the logic so that it appeals to the logical mind. I am very logical. It appeals to me a lot. That the Supreme Lord descends, is on the tongue, and then we have to have attention connection, and we are we can experience the 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 effects of chanting only if we have if we are connected to the Lord, connected to the source. So why, why, why do you think it does not appeal to the logical mind? Everything that I am going to talk is going to appeal to the, is appealing to the logical mind. 100%. Tell me what is illogical. Please type what is illogical about. Okay, so next question. If health is bad, if health is bad can we chant from the sleeping bed? Yes, you can. Next question. How can we connect to Krishna? What should be our actual meditation while connecting? If you hear Hare Krishna, then you are automatically connected. And what should be the actual meditation while chanting? Actual meditation should be the, in essence, please shower your mercy upon me. Take me out of this material world. Please engage me in your service. That should be the actual meditation. And Okay, Prabhuji, during tough times, I am unable to chant. Like this happens, does it happen? No, it doesn't. In fact, if you have tough times, that is when you are able to chant very well. Because you take full shelter of Krishna. Krishna is, Krishna is supreme intelligent. Supreme intelligent, if you connect yourself with supreme intelligent, then automatically intelligence will come to you wherein you solve all your problems. So, chanting Hare Krishna is solution to both material problems and spiritual problems. Prabhu, which is the best position to meditate? Whichever position holds your attention on the Nama, that is the best position. For some people, it may be walking up and down. If you sit, he will sleep. So if he walks, he won't sleep. So which is better position to meditate on the Holy Name? He can walk and chant. If you are sick, you can lie down and chant. Next question. Prabhuji, which is more connected to soul, mind or heart and why? Which is more connected to soul, mind or heart? Okay, heart is connected to soul. Heart is deeper than mind. First there is a gross body, then there is the mind, then there is intelligence, then there is ego, and then there is Chittam. Chittam is heart. It is an accumulated uh, experiential memory of whatever we went through in our existence from time immemorial. All those things are there in our Chittam. 
So that is what we call it as heart. That is the among Sankhya, in Sankhya philosophy, uh, the material body is described as made of 24 elements. So Chittam is one of the elements. It's called contaminated consciousness. Next. Uh, is it that I need to pause my thoughts and focus on chanting completely? If yes, how can I stop thoughts flowing continuously? Yes, you definitely have to pause your thoughts. The whole, the whole uh, <clears throat> goal is to give your attention to hearing the Nama. Every thought is a subtle kind of a hearing. If you are thinking, you cannot give attention because you cannot think without giving attention. So if you have thought, if you are thinking, thoughts are different, thinking is different. You, you, you have to pause your thinking. But in the background, you may have fixed thoughts. Like why you are chanting, what is the mood of chanting, what should I be begging, the feelings. Feelings, they are all there in the background. But the focus on chanting the, is, is uh, the, the attention has to be on chanting and hearing. So how can I stop thoughts flowing continuously? It is only by practice and that is what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said. First, you have a determination to hear only, to give your attention to hear. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Soul has got a quality called Sankalpa and Vikalpa. Sankalpa means determination to do something. Vikalpa, vikalpa means determination not to do something. So during Japa, we should have the determination, Sankalpa, I will not do thinking. Vikalpa. And Sankalpa that I will only hear Hare Krishna Mahamantra. I will give my attention only for hearing the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. So if we are able to release this Sankalpa and Vikalpa Shakti from our soul, then our attention will be locked on the Nama. Of course, this is a very big challenge. The whole, you know, all these soulful Japa modules is meant for training the mind in this. So just I'm giving you the, you know, one-line answers. All these things require, you know, understanding the whole process of Japa as I, I am going to explain in the modules. When can we know that we are chanting soulfully? When can you know that somebody is put his heart and soul in some work? You only can, can uh, compare that situation to uh, chanting. If your heart and soul is there, if you, are, if you are not desiring anything else, you are desiring only to hear and if your determination is, is only for hearing the Hare Krishna Mahamantra and if you are if you're, uh, Feelings are only for connected to the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. So then that is soulful chanting. More, more next module I will explain what are the different soul energies involved in soulful chanting. So if all those things are there, then it is soulful chanting. There is Preeti, there is Sankalpa, there is Vikalpa. There is asha, hope, anticipation of Kripa of the Lord. There is, uh, you know, so many. There is a there is very clear purpose. There is an intent. Intention is very clear. Oh, intention is not something else. Intention is only to hear. So then we can say it is soulful japa. That means you are giving yourself fully. Everything about yourself you are giving to the Hare Krishna Mahamantra at that time when you are chanting. Next, Hare Krishna Prabhuji Dandavat. The nature of mind as I understand, it resists what we persist. How can we convince and train the mind? 
okay this is a see when you the na- i agree the nature of the mind is it resist what we persist if you only resist that means if you only apply vikalpa you will not succeed that is why we have to apply sankalpa positive will and negative willing both should be there if you simply tell the mind don't think don't think don't think no you should tell don't think but here but here because if you say don't think then there is nothing you're not giving an alternative what else my attention should do so you need both sankalpa and vikalpa is a very very powerful uh, uh, faculty of the soul when sankalpa and vikalpa join together negative free will, positive free will supported by negative free will then the mind comes under control when our attention is diverted is our soul getting diverted definitely soul is where the attention is why can we direct our soul without via media of the mind because i am the soul right he says yeah now we can we we can't direct our soul without the mind is because our soul is now or soul and its attention is completely trapped in this yantra which consists of body mind intelligence false ego and chitta it is trapped in this it cannot go out when when it, it goes out of this then it is liberation so we cannot we, we have no hold of our, we don't have direct control over our soul so therefore all the faculties of the soul is represented in the in the subtle body identity ego ness uh, thinking feeling willing everything mind is a duplicator of soul our subtle body is a duplicate of our soul so by right now by controlling the mind we can bring the mind to a pure state and that pure state of mind means pure thinking feeling and willing of krishna consciousness desiring doing seeing when the mind is trained to see purely to do purely to think purely feel purely will purely work purely then automatically the soul will awaken now the right now our soul is not awaken our soul is only giving its attention and is trapped in the body mind the yantra can you explain little more the mood of hearing the mood of hearing should be like lord has come in the form of a sound he is not come in the form of a physical body but he is come in the form of a physical sound please remember that the soul of that physical sound is nama prabhu and now hearing the nama with your attention it is like embracing the nama avatara with your attention if the lord has come before me in a physical body then physical body to physical body i can go and embrace him or i can catch his lotus feet is it not so here in this case hearing is like a sound embrace of the incarnation in that mood go on touching the holy name with your attention hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare that should be the mood of hearing wanting to embrace the sound 
out of 108 chants, am I allowed to chant half of it now and other half later? Yes, you can do that. But try as far as possible. Once you start one mala, try to finish it because it hardly takes eight to nine minutes, seven to nine minutes. For a newcomer, it may take nine minutes. So it is always better once you start because that shows how much importance you are giving to chanting. Immediately your mind should ask, okay, half mala is over. Now something has come. Some thought has come in my mind. Let me go into my laptop and do something. You should immediately tell yourself, what do you lose by three minutes? You should tell your mind, hold it. Let me finish my rounds. Finish one mala and then you go if it is urgent. If it is not urgent, you, 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 you don't go. You go to the next mala. That shows that how much importance you are giving for serving the holy name. For this you have to know that just like if we have very urgent work, immediately our attention goes there, isn't it? So we have to know that chanting is most urgent anytime we may leave our breath. And most important too. There's no reason, there's no need to explain why it is most important because it is association with God. It is not only most important, it is most urgent. We are all practice, our mind is very much used to give attention to which is most important and which is most urgent. So therefore, Japa should be considered as more urgent and most important. When we chant in front of deities, what should be our mood and understanding regarding rendering service through eyes, tongue and ears? When you are in front of deities, then the name is the name of the deities. So the form is before your eyes. His name is, you know, on your ears, in your mind, you are hearing both name and form. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any updates.